Hi, my name is Joshua Stewart, Manager of Technical Services for eDist. I'm going to be demonstrating Dragon Legal for you today. We're going to start off with a very brief PowerPoint just to explain a few things, then we're going to jump right on into the demonstration. What is Dragon Legal? Well, Dragon is a speech recognition application that allows you to dictate in any Windows-based application. Basically, anywhere that you can type, you can put your cursor and begin talking. Everything that you say is going to be transcribed into text. Okay, the vocabulary involved in Dragon Legal? Well, there's a base professional vocabulary of over 300,000 terms. There's an additional 30,000 legal specific terms and phrases, and those include Latin and French phrases. Dragon Legal will automatically format your case citations and is available in German and English. How does it work? Well, again, Dragon being a speech recognition application owned by Nuance. Nuance is the same company that owns many of the telephony speech recognition that you see. For example, you call directory assistance and you uh, get that automated response. That's a product by Nuance. If you have an automobile, one of the Ford vehicles, with the Microsoft Sync, and you can say which radio station you want, well, that's Nuance too. Dragon is a bit different because it's a speaker-dependent application, which means you have to go through a little training process. Training has come a long way since the beginning of speech recognition. So the very first time you open Dragon Legal, you're going to get this new user wizard. The new user wizard here is going to help you create your profile. So as the first line you see here, it allows you to enter your name, your language, um, your accent. Both regional and global accents are supported. So whether you have an Australian accent, a Spanish accent, or you're from somewhere southern, maybe Texas, it's supported. Below that, we have a dictation source option. The dictation source is what device are you going to use to talk to the computer? So as you see listed on the screen, I'm using a USB microphone. It's wireless. I can walk around the office. I can do whatever I want. But you have a lot of options. There's array microphones. There's Bluetooth microphones. There's uh, desktop microphones. There's digital voice recorders, headsets, handsets, all sorts of things that we're going to explore throughout the demonstration. As you see below that, we've got the legal selected as the vocabulary. Now there is a general vocabulary, but we are demonstrating legal, so we're going to go ahead and stick with that legal. At the very bottom, you see your training options. With version 10, you no longer need to train Dragon Legal. You could actually just go through and do an audio setup, and then you'll be done, ready to dictate. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do that. The middle option, short. Now that's for the standard enrollment process. That means you go through, you read a story for eight minutes, some sample legal reports, and then you're done. All the way to the right, we have special. Now that incorporates uh, those with special needs. So if you have a speech impediment or difficulty articulating words, you can still use Dragon Legal. Okay, once you've gone through and created your profile, you're all set up with training, you're going to get this Dragon Bar. Now, this is the user interface. This is how we can control the system. Now, there's several different ways to view the Dragon Bar. We're going to kind of see that in the demonstration, but the main thing I want you to focus right now on is the red microphone. The red microphone is how we can control speech recognition versus just talking. When that microphone is red, I can say whatever I want. Dragon's not going to try to transcribe what I'm saying. However, as soon as I activate that microphone, whatever I say will be transcribed into whatever application I'm opening. You got my little guy down there handshaking the computer, basically just showing you that it is a very user-friendly application. Okay, why buy Dragon Legal? Obviously, to speed up document creation. Okay, eliminate those transcription bottlenecks, automate repetitive tasks, increase efficiency, and get more done in less time. Now, especially for the legal, we want in the legal environment right, to focus on more billable work. Let's get some more billable hours in there. So let's spend less time with the document creation. Let's spend less time putting together all these reports and all of these notes and emails and focus on billable work. As you're going to see, Dragon, in addition to being a speech recognition solution, it's also a productivity solution. In addition to Dragon, in addition to dictating, there's so much that you can do, and we're going to see that in the demonstration. 
specifications. Now, you don't need a supercomputer to use Dragon. If you have a lot of applications going on, you know, you just want to increase that RAM. But the basic specifications are right here. You know, it also needs a sound card and some things that are listed there, but I just wanted to throw out the basic specifications for you. And I told you I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on a PowerPoint because you're here to see a demonstration, and that's exactly what we're going to show you. So here we are. We have Dragon open. I've got my Dragon bar across the top of my screen. Now we're again, we're going to start the, the actual demonstration here. We are going to explore the core functionality as well as the advanced features of Dragon Legal. The first thing that we want to talk about is dictating. Now dictating, again, is you talk, it types. As a reminder, you can dictate at up to 160 words per minute. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Start dictation. This is an appeal from a final order denying defendant's petition for writ of habeas corpus on the basis that Palm Beach County lacked jurisdiction, period. Defendant's conviction and sentence for second-degree murder and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder were affirmed on direct appeal, period. Savage v. State, 551 Southern 2nd, 475 Florida 4th DCA, 1989, period. Subsequently, defendant filed two successive motions pursuant to Florida Rule of Criminal Procedure 3.850 for post-conviction relief, period. The first motion was based on newly discovered evidence, and the second motion was based on claimed ineffective assistance of counsel, period. Orders denying relief on both motions were affirmed on appeal, period. Turn off my microphone. So what we've seen is I talk, it types, right? So basic dictating, we got it. Second thing I want to talk about is correcting and, and playing back. We want to review our document. And the best thing about reviewing and, and correcting and, and all of that is the playback options built into Dragon. Now look up on our Dragon bar here. On our second level, you see the word correction, you see play, you have fast playback. This means that after I've completed my dictating, I can put my cursor wherever I want to and press play to review and make sure it's exactly how I said. So what we're seeing here is Dragon synchronizing the audio with the text. So it highlights each word as I do it. Now if I come across and I'm going through my document and I see a mistake that was made, I can go ahead and use one of the four correction techniques built into Dragon. So that's pretty neat. In addition to correcting, editing, playing back, um, we can change anything that we want to. Let's say that we've dictated and we realize that, you know what, we didn't mean to say Palm Beach County. We actually meant Travis County. Well, you can do all of that by voice as well. It's just a matter of turning on your microphone and saying, select Palm Beach County, Travis County. And it makes the changes that you want. Now let's talk about formatting. There's also formatting options built in. There's a feature called Quick Voice Formatting. Now this allows you to easily change any of the formatting attributes by voice. Say, because of the Quick Voice Formatting, I don't have to select anything first. I can simply just tell the computer what it is I want it to do. 